All right, I think it's been long enough. I have a few minutes. Thought I'd make that video for everybody. Um, let's just get rid of all this real quick. All right. So it's been a little while, so I thought I'd uh, actually take the time to make the video on the X2100 uh, X100 Pro 2 uh, software download, so you guys can actually upgrade the tool. So in order to do that, what you're going to do, you're going to open up uh, Google Chrome or or Internet Explorer, whichever browser that you guys like to use. Uh, you're going to go on to the, the search menu. You're going to type Xtool Tech dot com and the only reason i say to type that is because it will bring you up to the site if you type that up into the uh the url uh, bar it's actually not going to work i don't know why but it just doesn't so from there what you're going to do is that you're going to go on to supports you're going to go up to download upgrade tool and it will bring you to this page from there you're going to want to pick your uh x100 pro 2 um your X100 Pro 2 uh, software uh, download. You're gonna click on download. And from there, it will start downloading it for you. Now, mine is actually already downloaded, so I'm not gonna re-download it again. So I'm just gonna click cancel. All right. And from there, after it's downloaded, you can just uh, exit the browser, go to where it is saved. All right. Double click on that. Open up your tool or the, the installer, I should say. It's going to come up and ask you to uh, make sure that you want to use the, the software because it's not uh, registered by Microsoft. So what you're going to do is click on more info. From there, you're going to click on run anyway. Now, after that, you're going to want to click yes. And from there, the tool is going to start setting up to install. Now, after that, you're going to want to pick your language. Now, since mine is actually a uh, onto a uh, partition drive, well, not partition drive, I should say. Mine's actually onto a separate hard drive into my computer because I have one hard drive that is just for Windows and the other one is actually for uh, uh, saving all my files. So I'm going to just click on brown, uh, browse. I'm going to click on my storage E. I'm going to select the folder. From there, I'm going to go install. All right. Now, the tool actually installs very, very quick. So from there, what we're going to do is click on close. The device has either stopped responding or has been disconnected. That's just from my cell phone. I don't know why it keeps popping up, but it does. Uh, so for after that, what we're going to do is just exit the browser. And you're going to see an icon on your desktop, which is going to be the TP200. Now, from there, what you're going to have to do is take your X100, uh, X100 Pro 2. All right. And you're going to have to plug it in to your computer with the USB-C cable that actually came with the tool. All right, so something ended up happening to my uh, recording, so I decided to redo it. So this is gonna be the uh, the paper you need, and this is the one that's gonna have your serial number onto it. Um, I'll reopen the program real quick. I thought everything was done, but it wasn't. So from there, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna take and input your serial number right here and then after that you're going to put in your password your password is going to be down here it's where it says password all right after that you're going to click on login now when you log in it's going to save it's going to be waiting for you to plug in the device now as i said a while ago you need the usb-c cable and your tool you just plug in the tool it powers on very quick from there uh it will load up And all you have to do is go in here, click on select all. When select all, it will find all the available updates that are that you can do to, to the tool at this time. And from there, you can take and just click on upgrade. Since um, all mine are, uh, since my tool is already completely upgraded, there's no upgrades needed. So just click OK after that. You click the refresh to make sure that there's none. There is none. And that is it. So uh, fairly easy and fairly quick to upgrade this tool. Um, I don't think that we're going to have any issues with that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and as always, I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to stay tuned for part three for, of this, where it's actually going to be testing this tool on vehicles to see if we're actually able to read some, uh, some pin codes. Uh, after that, we're going to see if maybe we can program some keys. And we're going to basically see if the tool is actually worth the money that you're going to spend on it.
So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.